Done, right? Okay, there, there he, he is. is. It's Dante. That was his famous <laughs> doppelganger. <laughs> yeah, but it is though, isn't it? Right? It's the same guy. It's the same guy. You can't tell us that that is not the same man. Yeah. Different career. He's changed directions, but can't be two people like that. All you got to do is watch Beverly Hills Cop, <laughs> and uh, you'll understand. You will uh, know what <laughs> what we mean. So uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, he's going to teach you all about using, uh, this is the 5-inch Cupcake 3D Sculpture. Um, stop by and learn the secrets of duplet garland, alternate duplet garland, and double alternate duplet garland. There's lots uh, of duplets and lots of garlands in that sentence. Absolutely. And I managed to in the say morning. that from 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's obviously well, with Don Longhi, so, um, and it's going to be in... Uh, Portuguese, Spanish, and English. So wow. Let's, a big Q Corner convention welcome to Mr. Dante Longhi. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. I don't even know what it is there, but I know what it isn't here. <laughs> it's Dante. 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. There it is. Thank you. Coming out on an evening. We really appreciate it, Dante. Say hi, Dante. Hi, everybody. Give him a wave in the chat, people. Show him the lot of Q Corner love, please. Uh, a lot of people are excited to see you. Um, we've been talking about you coming on there uh, since pretty much the beginning of uh, the... Uh, I think it was right at the beginning or something that your, your name came up. So um, please yeah. um, enjoy your time with Dante. If you've got any questions, um, what you can do is you can ask them. And then we'll uh, do our best to put them to Dante and put them across the screen. Okay, if you have any questions. Okay. <laughs> I uh, Amy says him. that she doesn't <laughs> love you. Him. She tolerates you. <laughs> oh. That's your godmother saying that. <laughs> Can... <laughs> <laughs> right. If you've got, if there's any, if there's any questions that come up uh, in the chat, what we're going to do is we shall. Put them up on your screen. Ah, ah, okay. Someone's remembered. I know, I know, I know. So what we're going to do is <laughs> well, uh, we're going to hand over to you. And uh, Dante, enjoy your time with uh, the Q Corner Convention delegates, please. Thank you so much, guys. Q Corner Convention. Hey, hey, everybody. It is Dante Longhi from Green Factory Balloons in new jersey united states and we're going to talk about um how to make a 3d sculpture a cupcake sculpture okay so nosotros vamos a hablar ahora como vamos a hacer una escultura de cupcake eh, 3d okay e se você não entende se você fala português você com certeza vai entender meu espanhol porque ele é uma mescla maravilhosa e com certeza você vai entender ele também, mas vamos dar um jeito de falar em português. Uh, I'm going to speak uh, the same thing three times. Then if I speak in English, you just understand. The next time I speak in Spanish, is the same thing. Uh, and oh, how do I open? Kevin, can you get a bag of balloon, please? A uh, closed bag, a closed one. Okay, we're going to show this for you guys. Oh, by the way, this is Kevin. Kevin going to be Kevin. Say, come say hi. Come here. Oh, guys, nice. say hi, everybody. Okay, that's Kevin. And then, um, yeah, if I say something in English, I'm going to say in Spanish, okay? Então, se eu falar algo em inglês, na próxima eu vou falar em espanhol, a mesma coisa. E se eu falei alguma coisa em inglês e espanhol, em seguida eu vou falar em português, a mesma coisa. Então, não pensa que eu estou falando alguma coisa diferente, okay? Don't think I'm telling something different. Eu não estou falando algo diferente, okay? Então, vamos lá. First, we're going to open a bag. Kevin, you got a bag? Any bag? We maybe have like a thousand bags yeah, we'll put the bag, bag there. We'll have five minutes. It's okay. Okay. Guys, this is the way we open a balloon bag here. Okay? We put all balloons on the bottom. And then you go like this. We cut here like a bag. 
like a supermarket bag. See like that? And then we can take all the balloons from there. Então, esta é a maneira que abrimos as bolsas, ok? Cortamos desta maneira. Então, esse é o jeito que a gente abre os pacotes aqui. Because after, when you finish that, you can just come here and make a knot and keep safe. In this way, when you look a bag like this, you know it's open, ok? Então, uh, hacemos el nudo e depois, quando miramos uma bolsa desta maneira, sabemos que está uh, aberta, ok? Então, quando a gente, a gente dá o um nó e quando a gente vê esse nó aqui, a gente sabe que essa bolsa, esse pacote já foi aberto, ok? Kevin? Ok, yeah. guys. First Dante. thing, Sorry, Dante. we are talking about the plant garden, ok? Então, a primeira coisa é que a gente está falando... Dante. Sorry, there was another, there's another question yeah. there. I don't understand it. It's uh, not in English. Okay, uh, I'm speaking in three languages. I'm doing the same thing three times. No, there's a question there that I've just put up on the screen. I, I don't understand it, but it looks important. Oh, okay. Uh, they are asking like how I opened the, the balloon bag. It's the same question. I already did it. We will know. Okay, yeah, that's good. Guys, how do you know to open? How do you open a bag of balloons? That's all the same question. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Um, we're gonna do um, duple garland, okay? Então vamos fazer uma guirlanda de duple. Então se a gente vai fazer uma guirlanda de duple, we need uh, two balloons. Okay, tie like that. Guys, to tie here, we use this line. Okay, 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 okay. Line. Where is Mary? Huh? Where is Mary? Where is that Mary? Huh? Okay, and that's it here. We're gonna open the line. Então aqui, essa é a linha que a gente usa, ela é uma linha de pedreiro, esta é a linha que usamos aqui, é como uma linha de construção, ok? E assim é mais fácil o trabalho. Aqui, we have a clip cutter from Conway. Então aqui a gente tem, aqui temos um clip cutter de Conway. Tá? Esse é um clip cutter, então ele vai aqui, preso aqui, dessa maneira. Eu ponho a linha aqui por baixo, I put the line inside this one, see, on the bottom of this, and then keep, like, to do not tangle. Então, eu pongo a linha aqui abaixo para poder ter solta. Então, ok. Guys, we're going to tie the balloon on the line here. One, two, em 3. Então a gente amarrou aqui três vezes. Atamos três vezes, ok? Then why we try three times? Three times because it's a superstition, ok? I think when you tie three times, everything goes good. Então, é uma superstição, por isso atamos três vezes. Pode atar quatro, pode, pode atar quantas quiser. Que você pode amarrar quantas vezes você quiser. Eu amarro três por superstição. Okay? Guys, I have two balloons the same size. Eu tenho dois balões, temos dois globos de mesmo tamanho. Okay. E aqui, a hora, de mesmo tamanho. Vamos poner aqui em la linha. Um, dois, três, quatro. Ok? Next one, we're going to do in green. Então, o próximo, o próximo vai ser verde de novo. Ok? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Y rosado. El pink again. That is not a cupcake, ok? That's just to start. Este no es el cupcake, este es solo para empezar. Entonces, este aquí no es el cupcake que a gente está haciendo. Este es solo para comenzar. Essa bolsa aí, 
and then we keep it going here. We have green and then bean and then green and then bean. Então a gente tem rosa, pneus rosado e verde todo o tempo. A linha aqui eu vou cortar e vou atar dentro. Então, I'm gonna cut the line and I'm gonna tie inside here. Então eu cortei a linha e vou amarrar aqui na parte de dentro. Ok? Isso é uma guirlanda de duplê. Então, se você olhar essa guirlanda, ela é reta o tempo todo. Ok? If you look at this garland, that it's go straight all the time. Se mira a guirlanda, ela vai reta todo o tempo. Ok? E why it go straight? Ok? Por que vai reto? Por que, por que que ela vai reta? It's because we have like all balloons the same size. It doesn't change the size. Então é porque não se cambia o tamanho. Quando tem nem no tamanho, ela vai reto. Ok? Então porque todos os balões são do mesmo tamanho, ela vai em linha reta. Então isso aqui é uma guirlanda de duplê. Ok? Próximo. A gente agora vai fazer uma guirlanda. que ela vai fazer uma curva. E now we're gonna make the same double garland, but with a curve. Então vamos a ser a mesma guirlanda, pero vamos a ser com uma curva, ok? Quando vai ser uma guirlanda em curva, ok? Quando você vai fazer uma guirlanda que vai fazer curva when you're going to make a garland, it's going to make a curve. What do you need to do? You need to do a loop on the line. It's just a simple knot. See? It's a simple knot. And that one gets a loop like this. See? And then you're going to start with this first one. Can you see the loop right here? Okay, good. One. Guys, when you start a duple garland, okay? When you start a duple garland, you have two options. You can put balloon with balloon and go to the right side or go to the left side. Então, quando empeça na guirlanda de duple, você tem duas opções: ir para o lado direito ou ir para o lado esquerdo. Então, quando você começa uma guirlanda de duplê, você tem duas opções. Você vai para a direita ou para a esquerda. E este, para esta guirlanda, não vai ser necessário. Assim, this one, it doesn't matter for this kind of garland colors. Okay? But we, when you're going to do the cupcake, that's going to change a lot. Okay? Então, este é a hora, não vai ser diferença, mas quando vamos fazer a guirlanda é, do cupcake, este vai ser muito importante. Okay? Então, este vai ser importante para quando a gente for fazer a guirlanda de duple, de do cupcake. O que eu vou fazer aqui agora é assim. Balão com balão para o lado direito, ok? Eu vou fazer globo com globo, a direita. I'm going to do balloon with balloon to the right side, ok? Then, the first one, the second, third, três, três, quatro, cinco, you can see there. Seis. Siete. Oito. Nine. Diez. Onze. Twelve. Treze. Quatorze. Fifteen. Dezesseis, dezessete, eitinho, dezenove, vinte. Ok, guys. And you see my little pony, ok? See, that's a duple garland, and we have two different sizes. Esta é uma guirlanda de duple que tem dois diferentes tamanhos. Essa é uma guirlanda de duple que tem dois tamanhos diferentes. E... Por que, que ela faz a curva? 
why he makes a curve? Okay, por que hace una curva? Because the balloons inside are small than the balloons outside, and that's natural, okay? Então, é porque los globos adentro son más pequeños, los globos afuera son más grandes, y por eso hace una curva. Então, porque a gente tiene los balones pequeños dentro y los mayores fuera, él hace una curva que es automática, ¿ok? Es natural de la propia guirlanda, ¿ok? ¿Can you see that? Então, this is just an example for you to understand why when we make curves with garlands. Este es solo un ejemplo para que usted pueda entender cómo hacemos la curva con la guirlanda, ¿ok? Então, es solo un ejemplo para você ver cómo a gente hace curva con los balones. If you keep going with the garland, okay, this one here, see, it's all white, big balloons and small balloons. Então, aquí tenemos globos grandes, globos chicos, y si usted continúa con la guirlanda, se junta, va a ser la punta y el, la, el principio y el final se van a juntar. Então, esa guirlanda de duple tem balones pequeños y balones grandes, então, continúa haciendo la curva. Y es una de las guirlandas que a gente va a usar para el cupcake, ¿ok? Aquí. Eh, este es el desenho que a gente tiene del cupcake, ¿ok? Entonces, tengo los tamaños de guirlanda, el proyecto que a gente va a seguir. This is the design for the cupcake, ¿ok? Entonces, este es el diseño del cupcake con las medidas todas, así. Y... Eh, Si usted quiere, eh, yo voy a hablar las medidas todas. I'm going to tell all the measurements during the class. But if you want something like this, you can go to this website. Okay. Si usted quiere, el proyecto tiene ahí disponible. Ok. Entonces, si usted quiere el proyecto para ficar más claro. Because if you need this one, like to have everything clean with the measurements and everything, you can go to this website, ok? Um, ok, ahora hicimos una con curva. Vamos a hacer ahora, uh, now we're gonna do a garland with two different sizes, but we're gonna change color, because the white one, it's all the time. Like big one and small one, ok? All the time. Uh, es siempre el mismo, grande y chiquito. Entonces, el mismo tamaño, aquí, un, un grande y un pequeño. Todo el tiempo. Now we're going to do the same garland with two different colors to start making the design. Okay? Então, agora vamos empezar a hacer la misma guirlanda con dos colores para mostrar cómo el diseño trabaja. Então, a gente va a hacer la misma guirlanda con dos cores para mostrar cómo que se movimenta el espiral. Okay, so aquí, guys, okay, look, right here, we have, hold on, I got this here for me, okay. Guys, look, to start the garland, again, you have to make the loop, okay? First, here, two different sides, okay? So, para empezar, tem que hacer un loop. So, para começar, você tem que fazer un lacinho, no nó, na linha. And here we have the size, eight and six, okay? And you remember that? Eight and six. Então, aqui tenemos los tamaños. Ocho con seis. Okay, então, aqui a gente tem o tamanho oito con seis. A gente amarrar o primeiro. Aqui. E o segundo, cor de rola. Então, now we're going to tie the second one. Ok? Remember. Balloon and balloon, we go to the right side. Então, aqui vamos poner globo com globo e vamos ao lado direito. Okay? Então, balão com balão para o lado direito. Amarra. 
I put two pinks. Now I'm gonna do two rows. One and two. Yo he hecho dos rosado y ahora dos rosado más oscuro. Entonces fiz dos rosa y dos rosa más fuerte. Now I'm gonna do again two light pink. Into dark pink. Então, dois rosados mais claro, dois rosados mais oscuro. Então, dois rosas claros e dois rosas escuros. Pessoal, eu tenho no total, ok, guys, I have in the total 32 duplets, ok? That means I have 16 rose and 16 pink. Yo tengo el total de 32 duplas. Yo tengo 16 duplas rosado más claro y 16 duplas rosado más oscuro. Entonces, yo voy haciendo esto todo el tiempo. Entonces, voy a hacer esto todo el tiempo, 2 y 2, hasta que get the amount I have, 32. Entonces, yo voy haciendo esto hasta que venga 32 duplos total. Entonces, usted va trazando en la línea hasta que usted obtenga 32 duplas. Eh, duplas. Can you see the garland making a curve? It's like just natural, it's not me. A guirlanda está haciendo una curva natural, no soy yo que estoy haciendo. Okay, então, a guirlanda está fazendo una curva natural, no soy yo que estoy haciendo esa curva. Two more pink. And two more rows. Here. See the garland we have here? When you see like this way here, look at that. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight balloons. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Então tenemos uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. Então, a gente tem 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If you pay attention, we have 1, 3, 5, 7, 2, 4, 6, 8. Então, se, se tem atenção, aqui temos o princípio da guirlanda. 1, 3, 5, 7, 2, 4, 6, 8. Então, a gente tem 1, 3, 5, 7, 2, 4, 6 e 8 no início da guirlanda. Então, se você for contar essa guirlanda, Você não pode contar 1, 2, 3, 4. You cannot count like 1, 2, 3, 4. Because you're going to skip. You're going to count only half. Então, se você vai contar uma guirlanda dessa, você não pode contar como 1, 2, 3, 4. Ok? Tem que contar 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ok? You have to count both sides. Right here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, um, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, ok? Mira, look, we have 32 right here, that means we put one more, okay? that means we put 33, 
CTN 33, CTN número ímpar, ímpar, não se vai cerrar, ok? If you have, like, odd numbers, never gonna close. Então, se você tem um número ímpar de duplas, esse não vai fechar. E a gente precisa de 32 duplas. Então, a gente vai tirar essa última dupla daqui. Ok? We're gonna take, we take the last one. Now, if you take a look, e close, ok? Então, você mira a hora, este se cerra, ok? Porque tem o número, número par de duplas, ok? Então, agora a gente tem número par de duplas e ela fecha. Now we have, like, even numbers of duplets. That means it's gonna close, ok? That's the design. Can you see, like, the spiral? Ok? Good? Now we have 32, we just confirm. We're gonna get the line and we're gonna cut. Então, cortamos a linha aqui, al final. A gente cortou a linha aqui no final. Agora é o seguinte: lembra do loop no início da sua guirlanda? The loop. Remember that one? Recuerda el loop? Nosotros vamos a meter la línea adentro del loop. Ok? We're going to put the line inside the loop. Então, a gente va a poner la línea dentro do, do lazo okay? que a gente fez no inicio. And then we did when we start this one. And we're going to pull. Because we have the line inside the loop, we can pull as many as we want because we're never going to hurt the balloon. Então, podemos ralar la línea el máximo que queremos, porque no va a dañar el globo. Então, de esa manera, yo puedo pasar la línea, puxar la línea bastante, porque yo no voy a danificar el balón. ¿Ok? Entonces, aquí tenemos esto. Vamos a hacer Y ese es el garland número 3. ¿Ok? Bien. Remember, the garland number three, it's eight with six. Okay, la guirlanda número tres son globos de ocho con seis. Let's leave it here for now. Now, guys, we're going to get one more step on the duplet garland, okay? We're going to do double alternate duplet garland. Então, ahora vamos uno, uno paso más de la guirlanda de duplet. Vamos a hacer una guirlanda de duplet duplo alternada. Então, a gente vai fazer uma guirlanda de duplê, dupla alternada agora, que é um passo a mais. Because now, to do the cupcake, we need to make a curve and we need, need to narrow the garland. Okay? Então, temos que fazer uma curva e, ao mesmo tempo, temos que fazer com que se cerre abaixo também. Okay? Então, a gente tem que fazer a guirlanda fazer curva e afunilar ao mesmo tempo. Então, como que a gente vai fazer isso? How are we going to do that? We're going to do four different sides in the garden. That's the reason we call double alternate to play garland. Oh, né? Então, essa é a, a razão que hacemos na guirlanda de duplê duplo alternado. Mira. Yo no voy a hacer el lazo en esta parte porque yo no voy a cerrar esta aquí, solo, solo demostrar. Yo no voy a hacer el lazo porque yo solo voy a hacer una demostración y a gente no va a usar esa guirlanda en nuestro cupcake. I won't do the loop because I just a demonstration. I won't use this garland here, ¿ok? Ok. I'm going to tie the first one. Look at that. I have seven and five, ¿ok? In the next one, I have six and four. I'm using four different colors because it's make easy for you to understand where the balloon goes. Remember the orange and purple, the lilac are together. So, recuerda que el globo naranja y el morado están juntos. Então, se você lembrar que o roxo e o laranja e o roxo estavam juntos, você consegue ver exatamente onde que eles estão indo. And then, I just gonna copy this one after one. Então, eu só vou copiar 
los grupos que están. Si usted tiene que entrenar esta guirlanda, haga siempre cuatro colores diferentes para facilitar su trabajo. Pero si usted tiene que entrenar esta guirlanda, hace ella con cuatro cores diferentes para facilitar su trabajo. Si you have to train in this, like to practice, practice. You can use four different colors and then you're gonna be so good. Sorry, you know I'm going close to the camera. It's just take this way in the cercano de la camera. Este. Okay, so I'm the camera la. Guys, just the same thing. One, and the next one. One more. And the next one. One more in the next one. Okay. Vou cortar aqui. Okay, I'm gonna cut this because it's just a demonstration, okay? Guys, now you can see the number seven and the number six. We have number seven, okay, tie with the number five. And we have the number six tie with the number four, okay? Então, pessoal, vocês viram que eu tinha... É, só, vocês miraram que eu tinha o globo de siete, ok? Naranja, atado com o globo murado de cinco. O globo amarillo de seis, atado com o globo quatro, the verde, okay? Then you can see how it makes a curve. Okay? You only gonna see the balloons outside. Então você viu que a gente tinha amarrado o balão de sete, um balão de cinco e o balão de seis com um de quatro, correto? Agora o que acontece? Quando você olha a grana nessa posição, when you look the garland like this way, you just see the big balloons on the doublets, okay? You don't see the other ones because they are inside. Quando você mira a guirlanda em esta posição, você mira os globos grandes, porque os globos chiquitos estão lá dentro. Okay? Então, quando você olha aqui, você vê os globos grandes e os pequenos estão na parte de dentro. Can you see? It's making a curve, ok? E, at the same time, it's narrow, ok? Então, da mesmo, da mesmo tempo que faz a curva, faz abaixo desta maneira, como se a funil, a funil ok? Perfeito? Então, a gente tem aqui, fazendo a curva e afunilando. Agora vamos passar para a próxima guirlanda. A gente vai fazer... É, now we're gonna do a garland with all white balloons. All white balloons. We're gonna have uh, seven and four, six and five. Okay. That one here is seven and four. Guys, we're gonna do the same garland, but all in white now. Okay, agora vamos fazer como a mesma guirlanda, pero todos os globos são de mesmo color. Now, agora a gente vai fazer a mesma guirlanda, mas os balões vão ser todos brancos. Então, para esse aqui que a gente vai fechar, vamos fazer o loop. Now we're gonna do the loop. Hacemos el, la loop, ok? Colocamos. Ok, guys, look like this. Seven and four is on this bag. Six and five is on this bag here. Ok? Seven and four, six and five. Tenemos siete con cuatro, seis con cinco. Então, a gente tem sete con cuatro e seis con cinco. What are you gonna do? We're gonna keep this one on this bag, and you're gonna call the doublet A, and you're gonna keep this one on this bag, and you're gonna call the doublet B. Então, aqui temos é, la dupla a, a, que vamos chamar, chamar de A, e aqui la dupla que vamos chamar de B. Okay? Então, a dupla A e a dupla B. What are you gonna do? You're gonna tie on the line one A, 
em 1B. Então, de, então vai estar em la linha, uma dupla A e uma dupla B, até que tenha 32. No A, 1B. Você vai amarrar uma A e uma B. Now again, A and B. Again, A and B. De novo, uma A, uma B. Mais uma vez, uma A e uma B. Guys, because you have 32 duplets in the garland, that means we have 16 duplets A and 16 duplets B. Porque tenemos 32 duplas en la guirlanda, vamos a tener 16 duplas A y 16 duplas B. Then again, the... Entonces, eh, ya que a gente tiene 32 duplas, na, na guirlanda, a gente vai ter 16 da A e 16 da B, porque vai dar um total de 32. Guys, balloons, it's a science, ok? It's a math, it's, there's no, like, secrets on this, ok? Então, globo são uma ciência, ok? Tem uma razão de ser, não, não é um porquê, tem uma matemática. Ok? Então, aqui os balões, eles têm uma ciência. Eles, não, eles, eles têm um porquê. Eles, eles são matemáticos, as contas. Sempre são certas. Guys, I'm going to count how many doublets I have here to make sure. I have. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I'm gonna count this here now to see. If I have, I cannot have 32 because, see, eu não posso ter 32 porque eu tenho um espaço, se falta algo. Ou eu tenho um a mais ou um a menos. Then here, we have. Okay. We have 31, porque temos 31, então a gente tinha 31. Now we're going to put one more. That's the 32. And I'm going to cut the line. Então, já temos os 32. Agora eu vou cortar a linha. Então, eu vou cortar a linha aqui. One more time. I'm going to get the loop. It's inside here. the garland here. Então, agora podemos cerrar a guirlanda. Esta é a guirlanda número 5. A guirlanda número 5 que vai ter quatro tamanhos diferentes de globos. Ok? O top é o cupcake. Aí está. Ok, vá. Ok. Guys, 
we already have the cardinal number five, number four, number three, and number one. The cardinal number one is this one here. Esta es la guirlanda número uno. Okay, so this is the guirlanda number one. Okay, that's the bottom of the cupcake, the bottom part. Então, essa é a parte de abaixo do cupcake. Então, essa é a parte de baixo do cupcake. That garland is the same of this one. You just change colors, okay? E como que a gente faz? And now, how are we going to do a garland like this, but with two different colors? Então, como vamos fazer uma guirlanda? Como esta, pero com dois diferentes colores, okay? Então, a gente vai fazer... Exatamente assim. As duplas que a gente vai usar para a próxima, elas são 7,5 com 5 e 7 com 5,5. Então, vamos fazer essa aqui, 7 com 5,5. Essa é 7 e 5,5. E a outra é 7 e 5,5. E a outra é 7 e 5,5. Ok? Então, temos aqui duplas de 7,5 com 5 e 7 com 5,5. Mira. We have it here. 7 and 7 and 5 and a half. Okay. But we have If you remember, when you have got duplets, we have this duplet. Duplet B. We have 16 those. But between the 16, we have eight in rose and eight in pink. This one is the same. We have seven with five and a half. 16 duplets, but eight duplets are pink and eight duplets are rose. Recuerda que tenemos duplas de siete con cinco y medio y siete y medio con cinco. Tenemos 16 duplas de cada para hacer un total de 32. De estas 16, 8 van a ser rosado más claro y 8 van a ser rosado más oscuro. ¿Ok? La misma cosa de la otra. ¿Ok? 8 van a ser rosado más oscuro y 8 van a ser rosado más claro. Entonces, estas duplas que a gente tiene aquí, a gente tiene 7 con 5 y medio e sete e meio com cinco. Para ter 32 duplas, a gente precisa ter 16 duplas da A e 16 duplas da B. Entre essas 16 duplas, oito são rosa mais claro e oito são rosa mais escuro. A mesma coisa aqui, oito são rosa mais claro e oito são rosa mais escuro. Então, o que a gente vai fazer? Tem o que vamos fazer? Vamos começar aqui. With the light pink. Remember one more time. We're gonna do the loop. Loop. Here. The first one. Gonna be. Duplet A. Pink. La dupla rosada A. A por primeiro. Então a primeira dupla vai ser rosa da A. The second one will be the same color from B, ok? La próxima va a ser de mismo color de la B. Tem, então, a próxima va a ser a mesma cor da B. Então, yo tengo, I have A and one B, ok? Tenemos una A y una B. Então, a gente va a tener una A y una B. Recuerda, uh, do you remember I said, when you have those balloons, we're going to get, first, I'm going to tie, The first one, I'm going to tie the big one. When I say the big one, is that one we have seven and a half. That one is seven and a half. In this case with me. That one is yarn. Okay. Yo solo cambié las bolsas para tener el globo grande como A, okay? Guys, I changed the bags because I want to have the seven and a half, the big balloon, okay, as A, and the little guy as B, okay? Então, eu estou fazendo isso porque eu quero ter a dupla A 
com o globo grande e a dupla B com o globo chiquito. Então, a dupla A vai ter o balão maior e a dupla B vai ter o balão menor. Then I get the loop and go around the double. Now, guys, look at that. Remember, big and big, small and small here, big here, small here on top. Then, recuerda esto, globo grande aquí al topo, e globo menor al topo aquí. Then we go to the right side, okay? Balloon in balloon, and go to the right side. Look at that. Então, aqui, a gente pôs balão com balão, e foi pro lado direito. Now, I'm gonna get another double A, rows. And one double B, rows. Pink, A. Então, ele pink é rosado de A. And pink or B, in rosado de B. Pink, okay. Pink, like dark rose. Then again, they're going gonna keep doing that. Two doublets in pink, two doublets in rose, but one A and one B. Let me count how many doublets I have here. I have 26. I have 26. 27. 
Okay? Então, consegue mirar que as linhas vêm em esta direção. Okay? Então, se você consegue ver que a linha vem nessa direção, why everything in the same direction? Because when we start the garland, remember, big balloon and big balloon go to the right side. Ok? Então, quando começamos, começamos para o lado direito, quando ponemos o globo grande, o outro à frente e ao lado direito, para que a linha venha assim. Então, se você, quando você começa, você tem que colocar o balão grande com o balão grande e ir para o lado direito. Ok? E, por any reason, one of those garlands start big balloon with big balloon and go to the left side, what gonna happen? The line, instead of coming this way, gonna come the other way and the lines won't match okay si por alguna razón usted empieza globo con globo para el lado izquierdo la línea va a cambiar de dirección y por eso no se va a combinar los colores entiende entonces si usted comienza el balón grande con balón grande va para el lado izquierdo las cores no van a combinar porque usted comenzó para el otro lado entonces la línea va a ficar del lado opuesto ok então, vamos lá. Guys, now we're gonna put everything together. balloon deflate here. Então, um globo se desinflou quando estávamos fazendo. Okay, then we have one balloon deflating. Now we're gonna do we're gonna get here. And we're gonna tie in position, né? Então, agora só cambiamos o globo. Está perfecto, lindo, marioso, hermoso, beautiful, amazing, good job. Thank you, Politex. Okay, guys, now we're gonna do this. We're gonna put the garlands together, okay? That one is the garland number one, okay? We're gonna use the table here just to make sure everybody can see that just to start this. Everybody see? Okay, get some water. Good. Una agua. Habla mucho, mucho. Talk too much, yes. Hashtag Q Corner, come back. Don't forget. Ok, guys, let's go. Garland number one and garland number two. Ok? Can you see the lines? It match. How are we going to connect one to each other? We're going to do like that. We're going to use the rubber band number 33. Ok? I cannot show the brain, okay? Just give. Okay, number three, rubber band. And what are you gonna do? We're gonna get the rubber band. This garland has 32, okay? Um, Disculpa. Eh, vamos a usar, usar uh, las ligas, okay? De número 33, okay? Então vamos usar ligas 33. A gente vai usar elástico número 33. Then what are you gonna do? This garland has 32 doublets. This garland also has 32 doublets. Então, esta guirlanda tem 32, esta guirlanda tem 32. São gemelas. Okay? They are twins, okay? Just different size. Então, essa, essa guirlanda e essa tem 32, elas são gêmeas. A gente vai posicionar as cores. This balloon and this balloon, they are the same balloon, just in different garlands, okay? Então, estes dois globos são o mesmo globo, mas em duas diferentes guirlandas. Que okay? nós vamos usar, atar exato este. Este com 
este aquí. Okay. Then what are you going to do? We're going to connect one, you skip your one, go to the next one. If you want to do this more, like strong, do all of them. Okay, this, this, this. So, atamos este, cambia, uh, sac, saltamos este y fomos al próximo. Pero si quiere más firme, puede poner en todos ellos que va. Então, yo estoy haciendo una así, una, cuando pula una, va para la próxima, ok? Pero si você quiser, você puede colocar en todas ellas. Então, aquí. Vamos lá. Mais um. One more. Ok, ok. Perguntaram se você pode repetir as medidas. Perguntaram se você pode repetir as medidas. Ih, that's hard. Ok. The garland number one. It's seven and four, six and five. La guirlanda número uno es siete con cuatro, seis con cinco. Uh, la guirlanda número uno es siete con cuatro y seis con cinco. La guirlanda número dos, the garland number two, is seven and a half with five and seven with five and a half. Então, a guirlanda número 2, que é esta de aqui, ok? É sete e meio com cinco e sete com cinco e meio. Então, essa guirlanda número 2, ela é sete e meio com cinco e sete com cinco e meio. The garland number three, it's eight and six all the time, see? Just eight and six. We just put the colors together and then we're going to do the same here. We're going to connect that one on top with that one on the bottom. Just using rubber bands. Então, vamos conectar una con la otra usando apenas las ligas. You're gonna do a Easter basket. You wanna, you can use this idea. It's really cool and strong. So you're gonna do a basket de de Pasqua. Pasqua? Como habla en español? Pasqua. 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 So you're gonna do a basket de Cesta de Páscoa, você pode usar essa técnica para fazer a cesta. Ok. Guys, then one more. You just go connect one to the other and make this. Simple and easy. The easy way to go. One more time. Go here. And go there. Ok? The next one is the white one. Then I can put this on the floor right now. And we can get this. Yeah. Everybody can see. Okay, Kevin, para jogar piratinha. Okay, Kevin's playing games on the phone right now. Guys, that's the garland. The next one in white. Okay. And then. We're going to do the same. See here? We have this one and this one here. They are twins. We're going to open a little. This one first. And go. And we're going to do all of them. Around. So, vamos a hacer. Empezamos con este. Vamos a sacar uno. Vamos al próximo. Okay, then we did this one, jump to one, skip to one, the next one, so, and the next one, and we're going to do this all the time. 
Fenomena. Fenomena. And guys, if you want to see more like about like I, you guys are subscribing on the Q corner, mm -hmm. then I'm going to invite you guys to subscribe on the on my YouTube channel too. You can go to Dante Long, you can look for Dante Long on YouTube. You can look Dante Long on YouTube and you can subscribe there too. Subscribe on the key corner. So you can subscribe on my channel on YouTube. También, it's just looking for Dante Long. If you like, okay? If you don't like, don't go there. Don't stay. I don't like to do that. Okay, that's okay. And... What's the name of the quarta? The quarta? Oh, the white one is 8, 9, and 7. 9 and 7. La esta guirlanda blanca es 9 con 7. Okay. Porque es la parte del cupcake que se va afuera, que tiene mucha, está lleno de sabor, de suavidad, de la cosa maravillosa. Okay, so that's the, the cupcake, the part of the cupcake we have with the flavor coming out and say, oh my God, that's so delicious. I love cupcake. Mm. Okay, that's it. Okay. And that's the last one. That one is six with five and seven and four. So esta tiene siete con cuatro y seis con cinco. Então esta aquí tiene siete, cuatro, seis y cinco. Então esta de aquí, this one, because it's like, it's a short one to make like more inside, we're going to use the rubber bands on all of them, okay? I won't skip anyone now. And then... We can do this really nice and tight. So now, porque esta parte es más cerrada, yo no voy, yo no voy a saltar ninguno. Yo voy a hacer en todos ellos para que se quede bien seguro. Y está preguntando dónde ellos pueden ver el proyecto. Ah, dónde? Okay. Let's go. Põe aí, Kevin, põe na tela aí. That's the, the place you can find like this project if you want to like have a clean project like with the measurements and everything. And then just go there. Eu pode ir em este sitio web que eu tenho em projeto. Okay. Now, guys, look. I'm doing all of them okay if you see here we have the little guy here and then we go for the big guy that's the guy on the top that's the guy on the bottom and then you're gonna do it again dante longi it's dante longi on youtube okay it's just my full name if you go there and put dante longi balloon so you go and put Dante Long Balloons. Balloons. You me va encontrar Dante Long. We have like a lot of videos on YouTube. It's a lot. It's a lot to learn. Then I would like you guys to leave your feedback there. Then you like it. See? You're going to see everything we do. Oh no. I want the balloon. Oh my God. I'm just fixing the balloon. I pop. I limit my nails. Okay, the rubber band again. One more time, let's see. Que buen trabajo. Esa persona está 
colocando todas as páginas no YouTube. É. Hey guys, minha madrinha, minha madrinha. Slady, look. É, Lívia Antonella. E por onde? She's placing all the links on the internet. If you guys go. Ela tá falando nos comentários? Yes. Like on the comments, you can find. Like she's putting all there on the comments. All right. I appreciate Qualitex for inviting me for this presentation. Like that's amazing. Like on those hard times in a year, like situations like this, we still can find like every cool stuff. They like and keep smiling, stay strong, and like good vibes. All those stuff to keep us like going and going because anything can be us. Porque nada puede detener a nosotros. Quantos okay. balões no total? Vamos, ah, eu não sei. <laughs> I don't know how many balloons in total. I just keep building until it finish. Because when it finish, it's done. Why do not count? Get them one more here. And then we finish here. Okay? You guys can see this guy here. Now we're going to do the top. See, Kevin, see, you can see the position. Pode continuar vendo as mensagens. Guys, we're going to do the top now to finish this part. Então, agora vamos fazer o topo para cerrar a parte. E vamos fazer um cluster. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to measure. A primeira coisa que eu vou fazer é medir o tamanho do globo que necessitamos para esta parte, ok? That's how we do that. Então, é, that's the way we do, we figure out what size we need. Então, essa é a maneira que pensamos que tamanho vamos fazer. Este globo aqui é mais cercano de 9 pulgadas, ok? It's really close to 9 inches, then we're going to do this. Two. Four. Four. Then six. Nice. Então, temos dois, quatro, seis globos aqui, ok? Então, temos dois, quatro, seis globos a nove, porque medimos ali e nove. Dale bien. Dale bien, muchachito. Okay. A gente está fazendo um cluster com seis balões a nove polegadas. Now we're doing the second cluster, the same, six inches. Guys, we inflate and measure all balloons, okay? And we use, in the company, we use Air Force 4 from Conway because we have the those four nozzles here and we can work like three people at the same time when you have inflators they have only two nozzles and you'll be there working and somebody has to wait for you to finish like it takes too long and then we love it to have like those four nozzles then we can keep you working all the time three people we can play like a lot a lot of balloons like really quick Thank you, Colin, for everything you guys do for us. It's an amazing project. Here, we have six. Guys, you're going to ask why I do like this with the balloons on my body, yes? It's because I love Qualitex balloons. See, I love Qualitex balloons. That's serious. No, it's not. It's to make a little bit round. And then we're going to do this one here. Guys, we're going to get a cluster. And we're gonna open here. Okay. Six balloons. And we're gonna put six more on top. Not on tope, on top. Tope is another brother. My brother. Tope is a nice guy. Okay, here. And then we go around with the nozzle. And just tie one cluster to each other. And they Look like this. See? Six and six and two. Plus, okay? Now, guys, we're going to keep this one aside for a while. We know that one fits right here. 
and then we're gonna leave here for an hour with this. You guys can see the cupcake. We're gonna do the cherry, it goes on top, okay? How are we gonna do that? We're gonna get the balloon. Spread the balloon. And we're gonna do like this. Inflate the balloon, and then we're gonna put both hands here. When my hand inside can touch the hand outside, you see here, I can touch my hand, okay? That means I can do my apple twist on this balloon, okay? And I, we cannot right on the top. So, el nudo está bien, el centro, al topo del globo. Okay, vamos a hacer la torsión de manzana. Aquí. Pero antes de hacer la torsión de manzana, vamos a recoger un globo. 260 verde para hacer el cabo. It's to make like the top of the cherry. I don't know how to say this part of the cherry. The, I don't know. So, then, I think this one is good size. And now, so I took in tamanho bueno. Vamos a hacer una distorsión poca. Aquí tenemos un. Okay. In here, we're going to do this. Put the air to the top. Connect this one. Go to the other side. Take on the other side. And then tie. This one here, tie, tie, double, then we tie on the other side, and this guy goes on top of clusters here. Make the chair. So, aquí tenemos una torsión de manzana, una cherry aqui we're gonna do this one cluster goes inside and the other one goes the outside so uno grupo va dentro otro grupo va afuera okay sabor it has a lot of taste and it's magnifique, magnifique. Eu parlo italiano, um abraço, abraço, amigo Italia, is Miki, amici Italia. Okay, now what we have to do now is the sprinkles, okay? How we do sprinkles. Então, como hacemos lá el confete, la confeta que va aqui, né? Como a gente faz os confetes? Guys, I'm sorry if sometimes I do not speak Spanish or English or Portuguese. It's a, I have to think all the languages and explain something like it. It's hard. Yes. Me desculpa se às vezes eu não hablo todas as línguas, porque... Ah, muita coisa a pensar e a hablar e tudo, ok? Então, se eu não falo todas as línguas, me perdoa. 260... Okay, un pedazo, cortas, hace el nudo, this one, and again, Two, dos, <laughs> three, tres, el último, van aquí. I do, I usually do four in one, two, sixty. Okay, and the thing, four. Mm -hmm. 260, okay? And how are we going to do this one here? 
we already have a lot of those colorful ones, Kevin. Can you help me, please? Okay. We're gonna use you glue dash glue dots dots. Las gotitas de gotitas de cola de cola de pegamento. Pega una pega. Sí. Una pega está aquí. And then you have the glue dots here, the U glue. Then you just peel. Solo saca este. Que tiene aquí. Que viene aquí. And you do like. Oh, no. See? Turn on. That's the turn on. Kevin, find a fringe primero. We're going to do just the front one first. And we're going to try to do not put all the colors together, like two maybe together. And yellow. And blue. Orange. Orange, yellow, pink, and blue. Da -da 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 -da. And we're gonna make all those things. Okay. And make a one. Na pegada. Okay. Hey, you're gonna put these ones the way you like it. No, 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 no. Okay. For you. And it's up to you how you wanna do this. I'm gonna leave just this for. To here, you no, I'm gonna put it back in. You don't like those controls. I'll just go to. Maybe rose here. Guys, okay. Just one more here. Let me make sure it's really colorful and nice because it's tasty. And if for any reason somebody asks if you want to go inside this thing, you take that and go inside. And then you can have a cupcake dance. Can you see the video? Yes. Do you use weights to see the pillows? Files or something? Você usa alguma base ou peso ou water balloon or something? Okay, Hello. Qual foi a pergunta? Você usa peso, base, balão d'água ou alguma coisa do tipo? Ah, uh, yeah. If you have to do this, you can put like what water weights here. Okay, on the bottom, it's gonna be heavy enough. If you need this to be really, really strong, you have to build a garland inside the cupcake. I don't know if my phone is working. You have to build a garland. This works. Huh? Okay. Yeah. And then um, build a garland inside, and then you have like a base and a pipe inside with those clusters here, okay? And then you have a base on the bottom and the clusters on the top. And how many time I have? Uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay, guys. Um, just about like the apple twist because it's something we show here. I want to show you something like I think to make your life easy to do. I also have this video on my YouTube channel. Okay. When we do like this and we say tie the knot on the top here okay this one okay 
Can you see this part of the balloon is shiny? Então, podem mirar que esta parte do globo está brilhando, tem brilho. Este é para a torção de manzana, como uma dica. Ok, that's the... Uh, está, tem brilho. Okay? Então, essa parte está brilhante. This part, see, it's more like uh, opaque. Ok, então, porque... Uh, because here is the latex, is all here right now, not expanded one. Então, esta parte do globo não está expandida. When we say put the air to the top, what we mean is put the latex to the other side, okay? Because when you do this and go to the other side, it makes it easy for you to catch, okay? Então, este é assim, fácil com que você pode recorrer esta parte aqui. Because a lot of people, they tie a knot right here. Now, all the latex is here. Now, agora, todo o latex está aqui. Não tem como ir ao outro lado. Entende? E vai tentar fazer e vai explotar o globo. Então, o globo vai estourar. And one more thing is, when you do a small apple, okay, when you do a small apple, you do like this, and then you put the air, Again, do like this, put the air to the top, go to the other side, and then you can tie here, like this. Kevin, see what like this. But now, if you want a nice one, you can use a heart-shaped balloon, and do the same. Put it here, down like this. Then you make the knot on the top in a heart shape. Push the air, go to the other side. And then when you tie this one, it's another apple. Thank you. With curves. See? Got it? A Madrinha mandou um beijo. Madrinha, beijo. E perguntaram se eu quiser reduzir o tamanho do cupcake. Eu uso metade dos balões, like 15, ou como eu posso reduzir a medida do cupcake? Yeah, if you have to make small cupcake, you have just to low the... You have to change the size proportionally. When I say proportionally, it's like this. Uh, if one balloon is 10, you want to do like 8, and another one, that's 20%. And another balloon is 9, you have to reduce 20%, not like 9 to 6, because that's going to be 30%. It's going to be too much, and it won't be the same result. So if you want to change the size of the cupcake, Você tem que fazer os globos mais chiquitos, pelo proporcional. Se o globo é 10, você vai fazer como 8, este é 20% menos. Se o globo é 9, você não pode fazer como 6, porque este é 30% menos. Entende? Você tem que fazer esse como 20% menos. Então, tem que calcular 20% menos de todo para saber lá, lá, o tamanho que necessita para o próximo. Ok? Então, se você vai fazer um cupcake menor, você tem que diminuir os balões proporcionalmente. Se o balão é 10, ele vai ser 8. O próximo, que é 9, ele, ele não pode ser 6, porque ele é 30% menor. E 8 é 20% menor do que 10. Então, ele vai perder a característica dele. Ok? Qual que era a outra pergunta? Hum, era essa. E... Ok. You cannot use, like, less... Uh... Imagine like this. Remember when we did the duplex garland? It goes straight. Uh -huh. Ok. Let me get the garland right here. Okay, that garland goes straight because it's all the same size. If you do like different sizes, what's gonna happen? You're gonna make a curve. If I have 90 and 8, the curve is gonna be kind of big open. If I have 9 and 7, it's gonna be closed. If I have 9 and 4, it's gonna be like this, okay? And that's the thing. You have to understand uh, 
Y tiene que saber cómo quiere hacer la curva, ¿entiende? Si 9 con 9 va recto, 9 con 8 va a ser una curva más abierta, 9 con 7 va a ser una curva más cerrada, 9 con 4 va a ser una curva bien rápida, ¿entiende? Entonces, este es como tiene que saber la curva, todo, tiene que estudiar mucho de esto, ¿ok? Para entender cómo va a calcular, ¿ok? Let's see how many times. 11.26, ok. Estão perguntando de novo como se abre uma bag de balões. Uh -huh. Só voltar no vídeo. Yeah, it's all on the beginning of the video. <laughs> uh, podemos usar 2.60 em vez de ligas? Uh, like, you can use the 260 instead of a rubber band? You can, it's ok. But the problem is, when you tie here and you go tie on the other one, uh sometimes you're gonna make different uh different like um strong like and it won't be the same like um oh my god my english is just <laughs> uh if you do if you do with 260s it, it won't be the same uh force you're gonna put on this okay the rubber band everywhere you go is the same intense of force the 260 you're gonna pull too much or too less and it's gonna be kind of okay so no vamos usar 260 al invés de las ligas porque puede usar puede pero el 260 cuando va a ser la fuerza puede hacer más fuerza en un punto de que otro entiende de hello dante don't ever <laughs> stop you we just come back to join you Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Dante. Hello, Dante. Hey, how are you? Very well. You were fantastic. Do you want a little twist? A little twist <laughs> on the top with the cherry. Um, I just haven't looked there. We had some questions as well while you're on. Did you enjoy that? Me? Did you enjoy it? Yes. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Okay, guys, <laughs> in the chat, please um, show your love and appreciate uh, appreciation for Dante. Um, I know that you guys got a lot of golden nuggets from that. You always do, from the little stuff to the big stuff, too. What's that one? Oh, yeah. The, yeah. yeah, there's the link. Yeah. The link. And then the link. Questions? Uh, we have a question. Um, this was one that came up a couple of times. Uh, the cupcake is kind of five feet tall. Okay. And then this question came up, which was uh, how to calculate the size uh, to make the shape you want. Yeah, you have to try and try. That's not like a formula, like to do something like this. And it's really hard to calculate this because uh, if you do nine and eight and a half or nine and eight nine and seven and a half you have like a, a, like a thousand of measurements you can use it to do everything but based on like the knowledge you like uh gain like every year every time you do something you can learn more so no tiene una formula para calcular como va como va a ser el shape que quiere usted tiene que intentar hacer las las guirlandas porque existen muchos números diferentes como nueve con ocho nueve con siete nueve con seis y medio y cada uno va a ser una forma diferente entonces tiene que treinar y con el tiempo va a conseguir hacer en tu cabeza cómo hacerlo yeah I mean when when we make things Dante as well it's you know you write things down as you work you know so then you've got some references so that's you know it's a very good tip yes. I think I think sometimes you know we do expect a, a magic formula to fix everything but it's not always the case you're uh -huh. trying to get a very specific size you might have to be yeah. a trial and error for for classic decor it works really good but for like artistic decor it's hard yeah um there was another question as well i can't find it to throw it up onto the screen but the other one was how much pressure do you put on you know when when you're pulling your balloons together with the line yeah oh, yeah um, it's because when when we tie the balloon let me just inflate one doublet really quick in here okay. when we tie the balloons we tie the balloons like this like one over each other então quando atamos os globos atamos bem cercando um do outro okay 
then like this way you can put as many pressure I, you want there because they don't go anywhere because they are really close when you tie balloons like soft knot like then loose and then you put too much pressure then like if you just tie and say okay i tie like this yeah that one is too loose yeah if you put pressure on this one it's never gonna work so Se usted hace un nudo bien cercano, así como este, puede poner la presión que quiere para atar la guirlanda. Cuando tiene un nudo como este aquí, cuando pone la presión, este se, ha, se va y no tiene como terminar. Lo exactly. importante es que haga el nudo así. That's, that's the root of all problems. It is. It's a bad duplet. It is. Yes. Definitely, yes. Yes. Yeah, the Don say when we asked for the, the, um, for the delegates to show their appreciation in the chat, chat basically exploded i think we temporarily shut down the internet with the amount of emojis <laughs> and love and appreciation that went through the chat it's it, so much, yeah. yeah so please dante if you have just a few moments after this if you can drop one to chat and if anybody wants to say hello or has a direct question just drop on there just for a couple of moments if you can that would be fantastic over okay. there, there is a few unanswered questions i think a few several 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 people want to know how to open a bag yes um, should should we do it again no no no, no. we <laughs> have to apologize what happened was yesterday at the we beginning, I, I was explaining how in 2015 when we worked together we did the bag thing right and um, we, we kind of made it as a joke with everybody and they all agreed that cool. what they would do is when it was your class, everybody was going to ask how you opened the bag. Okay, so uh, they did it. They did. <laughs> yeah, they did it. Yeah, they remembered, <laughs> and everybody. Good job. Good job. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Next time, next time you say like that, you say, "Look, when you start Dante class, everybody put ten dollars on his bank account." <laughs> <laughs> That's a different joke. Okay. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Dante, you were amazing as always. Uh, we really love the setup that you have as well in your store. That background uh, really does show off the balloons, right? It's out of this world. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah, so... we try. Because we have we have the Qualitex Balloon Boutique behind here. Yes. Yes. And but then you... it's going to be like busy because it's good for the eyes when the, the customers come inside. They can see the Qualitex Balloon Boutique. It's amazing. I love Like they kind of be in the paradise. Yeah. But yeah. to teach this piece, I think it's going to be too busy. Oh, it's perfect. It's, we really, really appreciate the effort you've put in there. We saw you setting up earlier earlier tonight, and uh, we, we do. And I'm sure that the guys on the channel are absolutely loving it as well, because we, we can see by the comments, it's been very busy. <laughs> so, Dante, thank you very <laughs> much. We have to go because, believe it or not, we're going to have a live twisting competition online right now. With uh, yep. We've got four contestants waiting, so we've got to That's disappear from cool. here. Yeah, so if you want to jump on the chat, you can have a little bit of a chat with people while the twisting competition's on. You can see that too. Yeah, technology is fantastic. So, uh, guys, again, show your appreciations for the one and only Dante Longhi. Thank you very much, sir. Thank, Thank you, very... Dante. Love you. Bye. Bye. Love you, Kevin. Oh, yes. Hashtag thanks, Kevin. Hashtag thanks, Kevin. <laughs>